Yeah, it just hits you in the face with that drop. Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is super late. I am super tired, but I'm excited for this debut of Aespa? Aespa? I don't know exactly how you pronounce it, but it is SM's first new girl group since Red Velvet, and that was, I think, 2014, so it's been like six years, so this is a pretty big deal. Um, the only thing with this group is that their concept is that I think there are digital members or the members themselves have digital images of themselves, so like uh, separate personas. Uh, clearly, Lee Suman is taking inspiration from KDA with this group. I mean, I think it's just kind of obvious. Um, which the idea and the concept behind KDA and that whole digital artist thing is just not my cup of tea personally. Uh, so ever since I actually heard what the concept for this group was, I was kind of disappointed. But I'm going to keep an open mind, try not to be my boomer self, and just um, enjoy this for what it is. Enjoy it for the music, especially at first. So this is Espa, Espa with Black Mamba. Already so colorful, as we saw in the teasers. Only four girls love it. Easy to notice and remember. Wow. All of this video already. You sync out in all caps. Are a lot of their lyrics going to refer to this digital concept? I'm, I'm assuming so. Wow. Heavy bass line. I was not expecting it to go that hard. It, it, it almost sounded like an action movie and it crashed in. It really didn't have, at least I didn't notice much of a build up into that chorus. I love how colorful it is. Mm. Yeah, it just hits you in the face with that drop. How the choreo is kind of um they're like slithering up their own arms black mamba obviously a snake but she slithers i love that what is going on is she talking parcel tongue right now strange color of that scene the green tops just pop the neon see it's shit like that man i can't i can't get over with like this bad looking CGI character. It's like, that's the separation I'm gonna have with this group. I'm wondering if what they're singing about here in this in, in this concept is maybe the antagonist they're posing an antagonist for this this world that SM is trying to create for them so uh, I 
we only caught a quick glimpse, but it looked like whatever that witchy character was might be the main antagonist of this world. And that's kind of what they're talking about. The Black Mamba consumes you. It's like they're... They're their own, like, superheroes in this world. And this, like, black ink is, like, the venom of the Black Mamba. Interesting. Wow, that song sounded nothing like I expected. Absolutely nothing. I honestly... I don't know how I feel about it. I really don't know how I feel about it. I don't even really know exactly where I would place this in K-pop genres or what they're going for here. I mean, it's got the weird experimental bass lines, the um, kind of quirky... Uh, teasing hooks that an NCT track would or typical SM production would sound like at least for what I know so far in my limited K-pop knowledge I love the visuals definitely love the visuals and that drop just hits you in the face I do like the shock value of it, for sure. But I don't know if I like the musicality or the melody. I think this might have to be one I sit with for a while. One thing I noticed is that this blonde is popping out like crazy. I think she does the pre-chorus, even this part right here. Her voice especially really, really pops out to me. I know they have a member named Winter, and I think that's all I remember. I'm the Espa, there can't be two. So is she trying to refer to... I don't know if they work in tandem with these digital counterparts of themselves or against them... That's the part I'm confused about, though. I haven't really read up on um, any pre, you know, debut stuff or writings that they have about their concepts. You guys can probably better tell me. See, like right there, they have this shot with a bunch of people around them. And who are these supposed to be? Not alter egos, but... Clearly too many of them for that. Great outfits, though. Great outfits, great visuals. This part is so strange. So whoever this woman is here is who I'm referring to. So interesting. It for sure is different. I'll give it that. I don't think there's really anyone doing exactly what this is in terms of concept, in terms of experimentation with this musicality. See, I'm okay with having these digital counterparts um, in pieces of the MV, but the second you're gonna ha you're trying to make me either feel for them or they're doing choreo like a KDA. I mean, I know KDA is a very particular um, designation for that because it is from a video game, so you give it that pass. But I'm glad that at least this MV largely just focuses on the four girls. This is probably my favorite scene, though. This entire neon theme. 
mixed with those shots before we could see of the like green venom splashing across the flowers. Interesting. Again, I think the concept is very, very interesting. I enjoy that at least uh, SM is going for something new with their group here in terms of, I mean, like I said, it's inspired from KDA, obviously, but that they're, that they're still, at least from one of the big three, going for something fresh here and taking that idea of KDA a, a bit more of a step further. Because KDA, I don't think, is necessarily meant for supreme artistry or anything. It's it's from Riot. I mean, it's clearly they're trying to market, make the most they can from their skins or what have you. Um, so, I mean, granted, this is all K-pop. This is all business. They're all trying to make money in the end. But I think maybe behind SM, they can maybe explore this concept in a bit more different ways than I guess Riot is able to with KDA. But who knows? Um, I, you know, everything to the girls, the girls were fantastic in this, the song, I just think I'm going to have to take, a, a couple more listens to really, uh, get behind and see if I actually enjoy the song. I, like I said, I enjoy the shock value of how hard that drop comes in, how, uh, taken aback you are by it. It really does feel like these are four heroines in their own action story. And I think that they're kind of trying to pose this as some kind of, um, this narrative between these four protagonists and that woman, whoever she may be, as the main primary antagonist. So, very interesting that we're going to have this continuing story, or so I suppose at least. Um, song, just not so sure about it. I think I'm going to have to sit with this one for a while. What did you guys think? Did you enjoy this? Were you really looking forward to this group debuting? Um, maybe you guys could tell me more about the four girls, because honestly the only one that I remember is named um, uh, Winter. And I think there's like, not a Katarina, but something like that. Um, you guys can probably tell me, because uh, I know that their counterparts also have separate names, I think. Uh, so there's a bit to learn with them. But um, at least it is something fresh and new in terms of concept and imagery as well. So vivid, so colorful. And with them having that, uh, that concept of the digital counterpart, it allows them to explore so many things visually. So many different things that um, they... Uh, keep that kind of traditional k-pop bright poppy look um in this weird world that i don't even know is supposed to be earth we've got like a bunch of exotic flowers and different um creatures and whatnot throughout the whole mv but super cool interested but not officially sold just yet um again like i said what did you guys think thank you so much for checking out this video please subscribe if you are new here I always give very honest and fair, you know, opinions with my reactions. I'm, I'm not going to hype up something that I'm not 100% sold on yet. And Espa, I'd say that I'm interested, but not entirely sold just yet. So thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you in the next video.